Like your second best. The best fighting style. I heard that Jeet Kune Do. What? <laughs> that's the one that Bruce Lee invented. It was call uh, attempt to be flexible. You could use anything. However, the the best fighting style for you is the real question. For me, it was Tai Chi Chuan. What do you think would be your second favorite? Wing Chun. And the third? Xing Yi. Was that straight? Like straightforward? Yes, straight line, straightforward. And fourth? no, no return, no back, no backing down, just forward. Fourth. Well, Pakwa also with the circles, but if we go to a different style from Tai Chi, includes Xing Yi, Pakwa, and Wing Chun. Excuse me. I think it includes a little bit of Wing Chun. A different style of Wing Chun. Wing Chun had the fists like this. And in Tai Chi there was like this. Like a kangaroo. Aikido would be one that I would like to look into now that I'm old. When I was younger I said Aikido. But I had not seen Aikido. There were like no videos. I had only Vern. And he didn't show me. Who's Vern? Oh, Vern Cooper. No, not Vern and Turner. Vern Urquhart. Vern Urquhart was in the Air Force. He worked at the Social Security building in Miami. And he's the one that told me that the only two times he ever needed it was when he slipped off, when he walked off the oh, bus and slipped yeah. on the ice. Did he even show you any, like, previews? Like, you tried your Tai Chi and his Aikido sparring matches, no? No, we didn't spar. Okay. Uh, he would have defeated me easily. Why? He was 40 and I was 20 learning Tai Chi. Oh. <laughs> he did go to my Tai Chi class. And because of the flexibility exercises, which he was not flexible for. He was too old? That could have been it, but uh, you get set in your ways. So Aikido is not for flexibility. What happened to him is he was a racquetball player. And a racquetball player has fast twitch muscles. He may have been 50. I tried keeping up with him in racquetball. I couldn't return anything. So then the other player in front of us said, could you let me play against him? Now, the other one was only 28. He's the preacher on, on Facebook. He's in South America now. David Rambaran, he played tennis, and he was a scuba diver, and he was a swimmer, and things like that. He was slim. So he asked me, may I play against Byrne? And I said, sure. Because I couldn't touch anything that weren't through, you know. It was just too fast. So they played against each other. They were both heavily perspiring. But tennis and racquetball, they could sort of keep up. Racquetball's fast. Why? What's the difference? Like The racquetball, the ball hits a wall and rebounds to you. In tennis, you gotta wait for the other guy to hit it back. True. There is a, a slower. The balls are different. The environment is different. In racquetball, you're inside a building. In, in tennis, 
for some reason you have this open space, which I, I love tennis. Not to the point that I'll hurt my elbow and get tennis elbow. But I love tennis the... Elbow. That's when you get injured from using a, a muscle too much. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're right-handed, you're not going to play tennis left-handed. You could try. Some, some might be able to do it. What is it called? Neutral? What is neutral? Neutral handed? Is that what it's called? Ambidextrous, I think. Oh. <laughs> but tennis is fun for me. It's not fun to watch if they go too fast. Like if you go one, two, two and they keep going. It's like ping pong. Ping pong. Yeah, if they, if they return it five times, that's great. If they go too many, like return it 20 times, then you lose track. Yeah, uh, it's too fast. The highest uh, fighting style, though, is spiritual fighters. Hey, yo. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of the sport Quidditch? Yes, with Harry Potter and a, yes. and a broom. We have a broom. <laughs> Don Bosco one time was attacked. He was invited to a tavern where someone was dying supposedly so he said you four or five boys that are big come follow with me come follow me now he took these boys to a tavern which is a place that people shouldn't go to that's where fights get started there is alcohol involved why did he take the big ones you see the, no, it's just a, it's just a something intimidating, right? Mm -hmm. So then they the people that invited him because they wanted him to say the last prayer to the person dying, they said, "Oh, but she's upstairs dying." So as soon as they opened it, he said to the boys, "You guys stay down here." Was that a mistake? I don't know. It may have been, but he knew. Uh, once he saw the face of the of the woman, and she spoke, that she was not dying. She was too strong. Most people dying, they don't even speak until you get real close to them, and they say, "Please forgive me for my sins." To the Catholic priest. So, as soon as he walked in, and there were other men in there. That's not a surprise, but you can see their faces. Yo, these guys don't look too friendly. And someone turned off the lights on him and closed the door. And they started hitting him. But he automatically picked up a chair and put it over his head. So guess uh, those chairs were made out of wood. So what do you think happened? They cut themselves? They punched the chair, man. How many times are you going to do that? Ow, 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 ow. It's like the darkness... <laughs> the darkness and then his boys ran up and opened the door dun, dun. Ah. you see mm -hmm. but if, if another time Don Bosco was shot at and the hole was in his clothing front and back how did it miss the bullet miss him it was like <laughs> <laughs> that could be it. A priest wears heavy clothing that's yeah, loose. That's like a cape. <laughs> yes. I think it's. I love you, Mimi. <whistles> Wake up, girl. <laughs> so the spiritual fighter is the highest kind of fighter. <laughs> In the Bible, it says that we are not fighting against, we're fighting against spiritual forces or something like that. Good and evil. So, I trained you in Tai Chi Chuan because of my ugly childhood memories. Uh, to go higher, you need to find friends that want to spar with you.
because you can predict what I'm going to do. And <laughs> once your arms get long enough, you'll be you'll be actually faster than I am. Yeah, because it's going to be like. Eh, eh. <laughs> <laughs> And I predict what you're going to do. You need more meditation. More Tai Chi meditation. More sparring, but slower sparring. Mm -hmm. Because as soon as we touch, you should be able to hurt me. Go. Once you're, once you're a professional, you see, once you're, you should be able to... I shouldn't be able to touch you is what, what happens. But you should be able to Dom? repel me. Do you still have those? Um, you put it on top of your tent. Tarps? Yeah. Yes. How many? I have a green one. I have a blue one. I have two blue ones. That's three. No, that's four. <laughs> no, a green, two blue. A green and a blue in the bottom of the tent. And on top of the tent, a blue and a blue. You need to learn carpentry, son. The mightiest men I've, I've seen are the ones with confidence, like electricians, plumbers, and and even with the plumbers, they said, "Go ahead." One of them said, "Go ahead, uh, do that hold on on my hand." Can't do it. That guy has his wrist is just too strong. Yeah. God bless you and those that surround you.